Pocket RGA is a real-time spectrum analyzer for the iPhone and iPhone 3G. The program features many display modes, all available from the main menu. This is RGA's linear display mode. The horizontal axis displays frequency and the vertical axis displays decibel level. So let's input a test tone and see how it displays. The peak of this signal is around 2 kHz. So let's zoom in and have a closer look. You can do this using the pinch technique in the lower half of the display. Tap and hold at the top of the display to display the crosshair. Drag your finger across the display to display the peak at each FFT point. The peak frequency, musical note and decibel values will be displayed at the top of the screen. Turn the iPhone on its side to rotate to landscape mode. The program also allows you to capture and display up to three simultaneous signals as well as a live trace. This is especially useful for capturing static reference signals, which you can then recall as and when you need them. Again, you can use the pinch technique to zoom into the display or drag your finger across the display to scroll left and right. You can even remove the live trace to focus on the captured data. This is the logarithmic display mode, best suited for analysing data of a musical nature, as the frequencies of consecutive notes are themselves logarithmic. In this case, the test signal is a simultaneous four-tone sweep. And this is a spectrograph displaying the same signal. This mode is often used for analysing speech. Pocket RTA also includes octave and sub-octave displays. These can be used for setting up audio equipment and audio mixers. The iPhone's microphone is located at the bottom of the device. The auto rotation feature allows you to spin through 360 degrees so you can point the microphone at the sound source. The SPL display is used for measuring sound pressure levels. You can calibrate the SPL display for both internal and external microphone. And this is independent of being able to compensate for frequency response characteristics of the microphone being used. The oscilloscope mode can be used to observe the wave shape of the electrical signal. You can adjust the time base using the pinch technique. And fine adjust by dragging the finger across the display. You can use the sensitivity to adjust the amplitude of the input signal. And you can even capture the current graph to your photo library. And these pictures are higher resolution than the iPhone display. Pocket RTA also includes a tone generator, which can generate sine waves and pink noise. The iPhone 3G can generate tones from 50 Hz up to 22 kHz. If we zoom into the display, we can confirm that the 1 kHz test signal is there.
If you notice, we can only get values either side of the 1 kHz test signal, and that's because of the FFT size, which is also adjustable. The peak values displayed at the top of the screen are interpolated, so are always correct, regardless of the FFT size. You can always increase the FFT size to add more points to the graph, but bear in mind this makes the display less reactive. The calibration screen lets you compensate for frequency response characteristics of the internal and external microphones. Drag your finger across the top of the display to move the red highlight bar and use the pinch technique to cut or boost the value of each bin. As you can see from the display, we are currently calibrating the internal microphone. The log and linear displays are also calibrated separately from the octave and SPL. You can switch between these modes by tapping below the input meter bar and selecting from the pop-up menu. Although you can calibrate manually, we've added an auto calibration feature which simplifies the job. Calibration requires a calibrated pink noise sound source. Simply hold the device to the sound source and press the continue button. Now wait for the display to level off at 0 dB. This should only take a few seconds. And once complete, press the done button and calibration is complete. You should now have a flat frequency response.